let's face it, typically robotics and robots aren't cheap. In terms of the initial cost, maintenance, and the need for extra components, robots need to be programmed with artificial intelligence and programmed to do the task. So if this is true, then how do we get to the year 2077? Fast forwarding the speech about the future of civilization with fully autonomous flying cars and an EVTOL Airbus station and Hyperloop bullet trains in every district connecting us to any district across the world, but rather focusing on our fully autonomous robotic companions that will walk among us in 2077. I was reading a comment someone wrote on one of my videos the other day and this person wrote, robots are the future with or without us, which is true to any physical material piece of technology, but not putting the notion out there that robots will replace our human species, but in a sense that typically a human being lives to about a hundred years old while fully autonomous robots can live forever. And so if humans truly only live once, a cheap humanoid female robot companion technically doesn't exist. Rewinding and highlighting the word cheap, cheap humanoid female robot companions do not exist. Or else, how do you put a price on an everlasting companionship? Priceless. Meet Asimo. One of the most expensive robots in the world is the Asimo Humanoid Robot. This robot can be purchased for a minimum of 2.5 million US dollars. It was created as part of Honda's research and development robotics program. The Asimo can operate in crowded places like shopping malls, train stations, or museums. It can adapt to its environment, walk on any terrain, dance, and also run at a speed of 9 kilometers an hour, while being the only humanoid robot capable of climbing and descending stairs independently. They can also make a limited number of gestures by reading a user's brainwaves. A single Asimo unit can be purchased for $2.5 million or leased for about $150,000 a month. Though maybe a bit outdated as many people look forward to what's up next beyond Asimo. As the Asimo robot, which is short for Advanced Step-In Innovative Mobility, is a humanoid robot that was developed in the year 2000 and stayed very much relevant for two decades and present day, well, up until 2018 that is, when Honda posted the last update on Asimo stating that this would be a seizing in all development and production of Asimo robots in order to focus on more practical applications using the technology developed through Asimo's lifespan. However, you can still find and visit a Simo displayed in the Miracon Museum looking still very technologically advanced in Tokyo. Moving on to what we can possibly expect from future robots coming out of Japan. Brain time. Congratulations, you made it this far in the video. What would you do if I told you you could have 25 years of good luck and all you'd have to do is like this video and also subscribe if you haven't already. Well, what are you waiting for? Smash that like button and you'll get 25 years of good luck. And now, back to the video. The 
global humanoid robot market size was accounted at 1.62 billion US dollars in 2022, and it's said to be expected to reach around 28.66 billion by 2032. And if you divide 28.66 billion by 1.62 billion, which is the market size today, That's more than a 17x, 17 times the market size by 2032. When electric vehicles first became popular in the 2000s, they didn't come without people speaking up against them. Of course, here in the year 2023, we all know how that turned out. And so a lot of the negative feedback about electric vehicles was really just coming from other car manufacturers and salesmen who weren't making or selling electric vehicles at the time. Now, of course, every car manufacturer is getting into the electric EV car game. And so one of the biggest negative things people would say, and I know because I was actually selling Volkswagens back in 2006. And one of the things I would say when someone would walk into the dealership asking which was a better choice, an electric Toyota Prius or a TDI turbo diesel Jetta? Well, I would always say, and of course, it's because I wanted to sell a Volkswagen. But so I would say, if you're thinking about the future and the environment, What do you think is going to happen to all the batteries in these electric cars in 30 to 40 years when they're all just sitting in a junkyard somewhere? And today, this is still very much and more so now an issue many car manufacturers deal with as they find more ways to reuse and recycle EV batteries. Okay, so what does this have to do with robots? Well, we're going to get to that because... Although these issues are very real, the fact is the electric EV car battery problem is still a better direction for the future by lowering global carbon emissions from gasoline-powered vehicles. So if the same were said about humanoid robots, female robots, well, the answer would be simple. These robots last forever and could easily be reused and recycled. So really, it isn't even a topic. But moreover, a humanoid robot shouldn't be questioned. It's proven that robots improve our quality of life. And following the pandemic, I don't think anyone can question whether or not the entire world could use some improved quality of life. In addition to assisting people with disabilities, modern technologies, including robots and AI, contribute to the development of digital health, all while, of course, contributing to society. Robots save workers from performing dangerous tasks and so much more. In fact, the only real threat humanoid robots or artificial intelligent female love dolls pose would probably be towards women. And that right there is truly the post-apocalyptic scenario. Rather than the notion of robots surpassing humans, rather the human race no longer populating. Of course, because these robotic human-like female companions were perfect and artificially intelligent with giant boobs. So surely women would need to step up, be more assertive, or rather just more available. See what I did there? I really like that. Just be available.